This is a coat closet at the front entrance to my home. This is what the closet looks like at nighttime. So at daytime, the lighting is sufficient, but at nighttime, there is not enough lighting here. The only lighting it gets is from the chandelier up top. But if the chandelier is not on, uh, then it's hard to see what it, what's inside. So we're gonna light this closet up using Philips LED light strips. And we'd light it up such that the light goes on as soon as the door is open and the light should turn off as soon as the door is closed. So let's get started. We're going to light up the closet using Philips LED light strip and a Samsung SmartThings multi-purpose sensor. We're going to use the multi-purpose sensor to sense the open and close actions on the door. This is what the Philips uh, light strip looks like once it's uh, unboxed. And the light strip has an adhesive backing, which I can remove to stick the light strip onto the wall. In my closet, I have a little power outlet that was installed a long time ago. I'm going to use that to light my Philips LED light strip. The light strip is installed right now inside the closet. This is a shot inside the closet. Goes all the way to the top, makes a 90 degree turn. Okay. I also did a little bit of wire management so the wire doesn't stick out and show when the closet is opened. The light strip is installed now and this is what it looks like. Um, looks beautiful. I'm pleased with the result. Now the light strip is always on. So what I want to do is um, link this to the open and close door sensor so that the light is only on when the door is open and when the door is closed, the light turns off automatically. This is the SmartThings multi-purpose sensor, which can be used for sensing open and close actions on the door. Open the SmartThings app on your phone and press the plus sign at the top right to add a new device. Scroll down and find the multi-purpose sensor manufactured by SmartThings Hub. You select the model number of the sensor you have. This is going to start getting things ready to add the multi-purpose sensor. Um, the first thing it wants to do is have you scan the back of the uh, sensor. There is a QR code on it. Um, so you put it, you use your phone's camera to scan it. Uh, once that's done, uh, you click next and there is a little tag on the side of your sensor that you have to pull out to activate the battery on the sensor. Um, so this programming will take about 5 to 10 seconds to recognize the new sensor. Uh, once it's recognized, then we'll be able to program it um, with the behavior that we need. Uh, it's come up with a... Um, a default name of multi-purpose sensor, I'm going to rename it as coat closet sensor. So at this point, I'm going to add a new automation. Uh, the automation basically has an if and then condition. Uh, my if condition is saying when the contact sensor is opened, uh, then I want to apply a then condition, uh, which is to control a device. Um, and the specific device I want to control is the coat closet. I want to turn it on, but I also want to turn it off after about five minutes. This helps when somebody leaves the door open and forgets to close it. The light still turns off without wasting power. So we're done with the first automation. Uh, I'm going to call it coat closet open. Um, Once we create the first automation, we're about to, we're ready to create the second automation, which is for the actions when the coat closet is closed. Uh, now I'm choosing the if condition, uh, still based on my new multipurpose sensor, but the action would be closed. And I save this, uh, add a then condition, which is to control 
the device, which is the coat closet light, and I want to turn it off. And save it. And it's going to ask a name for this new automation. I'm going to call it coat closet closed. Um, it looks like a lot since the video went pretty fast here, uh, but it's not very complex. You guys will be able to figure this okay, out. Quickly. I removed the backing on the sensor and put one piece of the sensor on the door and another piece of the sensor on the door jam. And now let's see if I close the door, the lights go off. When I open the door, the contact breaks and the lights go on. Let's see this from the outside. I'll open the door. The light goes on. Close the door. The light goes off. This is what the finished product looks like. My closet is lit. I can see everything much better in the closet.